So, an old Cherokee grandpa took his grandson up into the mountains, probably on a really cold day, maybe similar to this, only a little more snow. Took his grandson up into the mountains and he wanted to talk to him about some things because his grandson was getting to be that age where he's starting to figure things out and learn a little bit on life. And he told his grandson this, he goes, hey, there's a war happening inside me right now. There's a war. There's two wolves inside me right now. One represents all the anger, the laziness, the complaining, the bitterness, uh, the uh, making excuses, the lack of effort, the non, not turning anything in, the work ethic, the dedication, the, the non-complainer, the person who gives all their effort. And he said, there's a war going inside me right now. I have two wolves battling. And the grandson obviously asked, like, hey, grandpa, which one's gonna win? Well, which one? And he goes, well, the simple answer is this. The wolf will, that you feed will win every time. Right? What you feed is what gives out your production or lack thereof. So decide which wolf you're feeding today. Are you feeding the wolf that's going to not do anything or make the wrong excuses, not do the right investment, remembering yesterday? Or are you going to feed the wolf that does do the work, that does put in the time? It's your choice. Whatever you feed, though, will win every time. Whatever you feed. And if you feed yourself lies and excuses, you're going to feed the wolf that will take over you and will never let you find an ounce of success. So decide today which wolf you're going to feed. And for me, sometimes it's hard because it changes hourly. Sometimes I spend an hour, I feed the wrong wolf. And now i got to spend the next three hours trying to recover because I did the, I did the wrong thing. I made the wrong decision. I've done that way too much. Uh, I've done that way too much recently. And I pay for it. I pay for it every time. So feed the right wolf. Going along with feeding, you have to make the right decision in terms of what you're going to fuel yourself with. Okay, I'm going to put up a graphic in just a second, but um, Illinois University, their sports nutrition department, they came out with some really good stuff. And if we're going to talk about feeding the right wolf, we also got to feed yourself too. Because what you put in obviously maximizes or uh, limits what you can do with your potential. It really does. If you feed yourself crap, usually your production is crap. If you feed yourself good things, usually it leads to good things. There's a reason the top CEOs, the best, uh, some of the most successful people are the ones that are the healthiest and fittest in the world. There's a reason. It correlates. There is a direct correlation because if you feel uh, a good uh, self-image, you feel a good health uh, and body of achievement, it's going to lead into this whatever you do. I mean, that's why Mark Wahlberg wakes up at 3.45 every morning. Every morning, 3.45, and he goes to bed at 7.30, 8 o'clock. For some of you, that might seem like craziness, but well, he's successful in what he does. There's plenty of other people that give the right time and effort and dedicate fueling their bodies, uh, which lead to better production. So what are you feeding today? Which wolf are you feeding? And how are you feeding your brain, your body, to be the best it can be? Because it has a direct correlation to the work you will do in each class today. I guarantee you. Um, and you need to take initiative of that. No more mom and dad. No more I mean, mom and dad will pack me a snack. I had a conversation with a kid uh, last week and they were like, well, my mom's going to bring me something um, for after school. I was like, who? You're, you're how old? This isn't, this isn't what elementary school anymore. You are, you are young men and women. Take ownership of it. It's called preparation. And when you don't prepare, yeah, you have to live with the results. Uh, but feed the right wolf and feed yourself the right way. Because I guarantee you that is a step in the right direction for you to get 1% better and to attain what you want to attain.